Let's go. But after the disciples had gathered round him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left to them. Help me to talk to the person by you on your left and I say, my neighbor. My neighbor. I walk in the supernatural. I walk in the supernatural. And what they are thinking about me. And what they are thinking about me. They will change their mind. They will change their mind. That's right. Sit down for a minute. Paul enters into a city. Lystra and Debbie. Saw a man that was sick. Paul looked at the man and said, In the name of Jesus, rise up. Let the healing take place. All of a sudden, Paul has healed a man. The Bible said everybody in the area came around Paul. And when they saw Paul and Barnabas, the Bible said, they said, no, 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 no. You are not human being. They look at Paul and Barnabas and say, you are not human being. Tell the person around you, I'm not a human being. I'm not a human being. Oh, I can, I can feel you. I'm not a human being. Say it one more time. Say, I'm not a human being. I'm not a human being. The way you are even saying it, it means you're a human being. Say it was say I'm not a human being. I'm not a human being. Say it being. with every energy you can master. I'm, I'm not, not a, a human, human being. being. I'm not a human being. I'm, I'm not, not a, a human, human being. being. They said these guys are not human beings. Then they started naming Paul and Barnabas the Greek idol names. Call one of them Zeus and call one of them Hermes and say you are not just human beings. And they brought sheep and cow to come and sacrifice in front of Paul. And say, we are sacrificed before you because you are a God. That's right. And Paul said, we are sorry. I'm not just a God. I represent God. That's right. He lives inside of me. That is, which means the God side of Paul showed up. Yes, this whole two months, the God side of you is about to show up on every uh. side. So now fast forward, fast forward. Everybody is celebrating them. The Bible says all of a sudden, whilst people are celebrating them, some Jews came and won over the crowd. Child of God, people are celebrating them. Yeah, um, give me from verse 8 coming. People are celebrating them. But some people came to. He said there was a man that could not walk. Let's go to verse 11. Let's go to verse 11. Let's go to verse 11. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in their language, the gods have come down to us in human form. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. The gods have come down in human form. Have people seen before say that they can see a God in you? That's right. Something has to be triggered. Yes, they say, no, 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 no. You are not normal. You are not ordinary. Yes, sir. Something massive is inside of you. Yes, sir. And all of a sudden, let's go. They started. They started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They started. They call one of them Zeus. The one of Hermes. Let's continue. They changed their name in Tikayagana. Because Muhu. But they didn't know that there was a, another God who made the heavens, who right. triggered the miracle. Jesus. Now the priest came out and start, wanted to bring booze. To come and sacrifice for Paul and, and Barnabas and say, You people, you are dangerous. So they are being celebrated. Let's go. They are being celebrated. And give me the verse that the Bible says that. And the Jews want some people over. And that's what I want to arrive. And the Jews, the same, the same, the same, the same. Give me the verse that says, He says, He says, Now, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium, they won the crowd over and they stoned Paul and dragged him outside. Child of God, I want to advise you. The reason why you need to walk in the supernatural is because the same people celebrating you today can change their mind. That's right. Yes, sir. The same people saying you are the best thing that was made since cow's milk. They can turn tomorrow and say that you are a devil. Jesus. They are sacrificing before Paul. But today, they say we are come to drag you. Anybody cheering you up. Jesus. But tomorrow is the reason for your downfall. Jesus. May the God from this altar yes, Lord. reverse it right now. Amen. Anybody your children are playing with. Jesus. But behind the scene, they are agents of the devil. Jesus. May the altar stop it right now. Amen. They came to warn. They win the crowd over. And they stone Paul. So after they stone Paul. They drag him outside. When people do you dirty, they try to cover their tracks. That's right. Because if you have stoned him, leave him there. That's right. But you have stoned him. 
taking him, throwing him away. So that when people come, they will not see. Some people sit on the phone and gossip about you. That's right. When they see you, they eat with you. Yes, sir. But the supernatural side of you Jesus. is about to pop up and God will. Amen. Number one, God will expose. God will expose. Amen. God will expose. The last to say the amen, amen. will be the first to say it. Anybody undermining you, Jesus. backbiting you, Jesus. all teacher will name three. Jesus. Today, by the supernatural side of you, yes, Lord. make Jehovah eh, any worker working for you, Jesus. but it's waiting for you to die to take over. Jesus. Let the supernatural grace yes, Lord. stop everything right now. Amen. If you have stoned me, why are you dragging me outside? That's right. And look at your mind. Thinking. He was dead. Now I came to ask you one question. Who is thinking it's over for you? Who is thinking nothing good can ever come out for you? Who is thinking that the doctors, what the doctor said about you will be part of your life forever? I came to ask you one question. Who is thinking? People sit down to project their mind about you. And that's how they project their mind about you. They call the next person and say a lie on you to the next person. That's right. So when the next person sees you, the next person sees the projected lie on you. That's right. So although you've not done anything with them, but there's a preconceived idea. Jesus. We call them satanic advertisers. That's right. But in the satanic advertiser, Jesus. if you are truly a child of the supernatural, yes, and, and sometimes and sometimes, hear me say them, sometimes some of these painful things that they use it against your business. That's right. Tell them, don't, 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 don't go to that shop. You, you don't know her. Don't, 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 don't go there. No, 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 no. A guy came to date you. No, no, no. She's not a good girl. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, no. I know her. And sometimes when they're saying, they say, I know this one. And the person asks you, what do you know? Say, mm -hmm. I won't say it. Yes, sir. I won't say it. Yes, sir. When I start saying it, pa, you will not listen. They have nothing to say. Yes, Lord. They have nothing to say. Yes, sir. But as a person of the supernatural, you will not sit down for someone else's words Jesus. to bring you down. Yes, sir. You will stand in the comfort of your closet of your prayer room My God. and say, let the words of the wicked of the wickedness yes, Lord. come to an end by the message of the living God. Amen. Say, it is over. It is over. Thinking he was dead. Now sit down. Thinking he was dead. When I walk in the supernatural, hear me, I don't go by the laws of Ghana. I think Gal Galatians chapter 5 verse 18. Check for me. When I walk in the supernatural, I don't go by the laws of where Galatians chapter five verse number eighteen. I, I don't I don't I don't I don't go by the laws. It says we're good. It says, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. That's right. And and, and I don't to talk about laws of Moses. No, law is law. What law did you come to meet in your family? Yes, sir. You can make money, but when you get to the age of fifty-five years, Jesus, your business begins to fall down. You can get a good marriage, but something will happen to the man. Something it's a law that, that has happened to people. Jesus. What 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 is that law? You can make money at the age of 30 years. But later you ask yourself, what will I eat tomorrow? You can fly first class at a particular age, but at a particular time, you, when, when you see first class, you'll be missing the good old days of first class. Uh, the children can start good school somewhere, but later they say that, ah, how, 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 how. Somebody can say, I used to have a driver. One day, two people were fighting by a taxi. And the man in the taxi was telling the guy, do you know me? I used to have a driver. I used to have five taxis. And the taxi driver said, but now, but now, That's right. but now, I came to ask you, what is the law? But this is the good news about the supernatural. When we are a person of the supernatural, the spirit lives in you. Sir. And automatically, you don't follow the law. You break the law. Sir. So today, if you are not ready to break any law, Jesus. I came to break the law for you. Amen. Any generational curse from your father's house. Jesus. Generational curse from your mother's house. Jesus. I came to break off that law. Amen. So I walk in the supernatural. I walk in the supernatural. Now look at this right now. Romans chapter 8, 
verse number 9. Look at what happens about the supernatural. Romans chapter 8, verse number 9. Look at it right now. Romans chapter 8, verse number 9. It says, you, however, you are not in the realm of the flesh, but you are in the realm of the spirit. If indeed the spirit of the Lord lives in you. Wait. So when it lives in me, the spirit lives in me, I don't walk in the flesh. I walk in the spirit. Yes, sir. And if I walk in the spirit, you cannot understand me. Give me the testament of God that says, the one that born by the spirit, they are like the wind. And that's how you are. Let's go right now. John chapter, let's go, let's go, let's go. Walk into that realm. Walk into that particular level where they cannot comprehend you. They cannot understand you. They'll begin to ask some questions. He said, the spirit of Christ. He said, the spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have, okay, look, look, look at the book of John. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear the sound, but you cannot tell where it's coming from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Wait, 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 wait. When you feel the wind now, do you know where it's coming from? No. Do you know where it's going? No. But you can only feel. So is everyone born of the Spirit. So when I'm a supernatural believer, I'm like the wind. You see that I'm doing great things, but you don't know my source. That's right. That's why as a supernatural believer, they will debate about your greatness. Yes, sir. Because they don't know your source, but they will see you blowing. Yes, sir. Today, move like a wind. Amen. The last to say the enemy will be the first to receive Amen. it. Amen. I said move like the wind. Move like Amen. the wind. So if you're a believer, you're like the wind. Say, someone say the wind. The wind. Now, the wind in the Hebrew is translated as ruach. Someone say ruach. Ruach. Good. Now, the wind is translated as ruach. The same way to spirit is translated as ruach. So, wind and spirit, they have the same meaning. That's right. So, when I move like the wind, I'm a spiritual person. The Bible says, and the Lord breathed into his, into his nose the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The breath there, too, was ruach. So, it is the ruach that gave me life to live. So, I was a statue, like a clay. But when the spirit was blown in me, I became a living being. So the same Romans chapter 8, verse number 9, that says when you move in the spirit, you move in the realms of the spirit, the verse number 11 will shock you, then I'll end with Paul. Look at it now. It says now, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because his spirit lives inside of you. Right. So when the spirit lives in me, it gives me life in my mortal That's body. Right. So when I get to a place and somebody, give me a, a protocol, somebody says they have eaten blood, they have drunk blood, they carry different power and they want to sick me, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Because what raised Jesus from the dead Jesus. is here. Yes, sir. So you can chew your de de demonic meat. That's right. Drink your demonic blood. Yes, sir. But when I shake you, I'm a Holy Ghost naked wire. When you touch me, I will shock you. Yes, because the spirits that lives yes. inside of me Jesus. is what raised Christ from the dead. Yes, Lord. The supernatural believer. Yes, sir. When you get to that realm, you don't chase miracles. Yes, sir. Miracles follow you. That's right. Listen, daytime. Sometimes, come, come to this place daytime and see. People drive and come and park their cars. They run inside. Good, we have security, all right. Because still, they will run inside. They'll come and touch the altar. Three minutes, and they go. And security will meet, meet them there or make them to fill their form there and say, Why? They say, I have a meeting, I have something. But they say that when I touch this altar, when I go, something will happen. That's right. This is what happened. It is called God Center. That's right. Because when you are an ambassador, you live in an embassy. 
Sir. Now, the moment you live in an embassy, the embassy is no more that country. Jesus. So, American embassy right now, when you go to Laboni there, it is not, Amer it is not Ghana. American embassy there, it is America. Listen, when you're going to look for your visa, the moment the security scans you, and they open the metal door for you, and you enter, the moment you enter, you're in America. That's it. That's right. Oh, you didn't clap because... When you go to British High Commission, not the one at Moving Peak, the original one, not the visa session. The, rich, the moment you enter, you are no more in Ghana. You are in England. When there is war and they are shooting people, the moment you enter there, no police officer, That's no sir. soldier from Ghana Army can shoot you. That's because that embassy, although it is in Ghana, it's not in Ghana. Sir. So when I'm a child of God, I am an ambassador for Christ. Yes, now, now, Pastor Daniel, if I'm an ambassador for Christ, how is my embassy like? Let me show you how your embassy is like. American embassy is only at Laboni. British High Commission is at Rage. Canadian there is a highway. No home. I can only go there because that's where the embassy is. But when I carry the spirits. My embassy follows me Jesus. anywhere I enter. So when I go to East Legon, yes, I have my embassy. That's right. When I get to Spinters, yes, I have sir. my embassy. Yes, sir. So when I go to the hometown funeral, Jesus. I'm living in my own personal embassy. That's right. So the witches in the hometown, Jesus. they are not permitted to touch me yes, because I am an ambassador. Yes, I carry my own embassy. Yes, and who are my workers? The angel of the living God. Jesus. So Psalm 34 verse 7 says, the angel of the Lord and run about those who fear him and delivers all of them so i am a working embassy that's right so that's why when i'm born of the spirit i'm not under the law that's right so the laws of ghana does not govern the law then sir everything there is different so when before your children go to school call them and say, listen to me the school you are going you are working in mercy. No witch can touch you. Yes, sir. No devil can try you. Nothing can harass you. That's why a woman that is small mosquito, small mosquito, bit her five years from Sierra Leone. The leg is being cut off. Give it to me. Give it to me. She was here last week. Leg is going. Last week one. Last week one. Leg is going. In, in the course of prophecy like this, God revealed. She said she saw just a small mosquito that was trying that tried to bite her. And she saw a small blister. A small blister. A small blister. That leg is almost going. What will you do? God revealed in case they have it there. God revealed and says, Look at it. Just a small blister. A blister. And tum tum keke. And I said to her, as you walk into this commission, you are no more in Sierra Leone. Yes, sir. You have walked into another embassy. That's right. And that sickness of five years, she says, it's five years, six months. Cannot stay inside of your life. Sunday morning, we are bringing our offerings. I saw the woman walking here. I said, ah, I remember you. You're the one I prayed for. How far? It's a man of God. After you prayed for me, my leg, that has liquid and water and oil inside for the past five years. When I went to put the mantle on, my leg has started drying. Everything. Uh. I quickly said to them, take her out and take the picture so that we can see if in case they have it. Look at it. Jesus. Take it off. This is less than four days. Because I'm a walking embassy. That's right. I'm a walking embassy. I have a different spirit. Yes, sir. And child of God, before we start to pray, let me tell you this. The reason why on Sunday, this is what I will teach you. Because I, to, work, to work in the supernatural, I've got to give you some prerequisites. And one of the prerequisites we to understand is this. You were created for one reason. Ask the person around you, why were you created? Why were you created? Oh, I can't feel you. Why were you created? One more time. Why were you created? Oh, ask again. Why were you created? Can I tell you the reason? Yes, sir. The reason why God created you 
He created you to reveal his glory. Don't clap, don't clap, don't clap. Don't clap. That's why God created you. He created you to reveal his glory. Pastor Daniel, no. From Sunday school, they told us that God created us to worship him. No. God created us to reveal the glory. And anytime I reveal his glory, it's my form of worship. That's right. So, when people see me and they say, wow, the wow there worships God. That's right. So, your house should reveal the glory. That's yes, it. Your car should receive, receive, reveal the glory. Yes, sir. Your health will reveal. Amen. That's why when God brings you a healing and a miracle, people look at you and say, we will follow you to your God. That's it's right. a form of your worship. Yes, so sir. the glory is number one. And when the glory is being revealed, they follow you to your God. So he created you to reveal his glory. And when people see his glory on you, they worship him. So you are not created to worship. You are created to reveal the glory. And the glory is the worship. That's right. So glory and worship, they are together. So Pastor Enoch, Moses, amazing guy. He's lived in the palace for a long time. God tells him, go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh said, I will not go. God convinced him, he said, okay, okay, go. Before I go, show me your glory. Because you can't make a journey without the glory. I think it's in Exodus 33, verse 18. Check for me before you put it. Before you make the move, you need to walk with the glory. Exodus 33, yeah. Moses said, now, show me your glory. I can't feel, some, I can't feel somebody. Show me your glory. Many people are moving in life without going with the glory of God. So Jesus in John chapter 17, verse 1, he prayed some dangerous prayer. He said, Father God, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that your son can glorify you. Yes, sir. God, the time has come. Show me your glory. Can we all read together? Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Af go. After Jesus said this, uh -huh. he looked towards heaven yes. and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. Jesus. So he puts his glory on you so that people can see the glory. Yes, sir. God created you to reveal his glory, the supernatural believer. 43 verse 7, Isaiah. Then I'll end with Paul. Let's go. Let's go. 43 verse 7, I'll end with Paul. 43 verse 7. Now let's all read together. One, two, three, let's all go. Let's go. Everyone who is called by my name, ah. whom I have created for yeah. glory, whom I formed and made. Let's say it one more time. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. So man was made, created, formed to reveal the glory. And on Sunday, I will show the difference between created, formed, and made. They are different things. So God created you, God formed you, God made you. They are three different entities. And I'll show you the levels of who you are. You, you start from creation, you get to formation, and you get to the place where you are made. So when they make Benz in Germany, they say made in Germany. Germany. But before Benz was made, it was created in somebody's mind. That's right. I said before Benz was made, it was created. Creation only happens in the mind. That's why when somebody does something, they say, the person is creative, is here. Yes, After that, they get something to form and they make it to something. So your family can form you into something. Yes, but when God touches you, he makes you into... Jesus. Uh, so, so, I can be a tree from BA. In the forest of BA. The Ghana Forest Reserves. Where they are doing the galamsey. And now all our forests, I don't know where they are now. But I can be a timber there. I can be a timber there. But when the timber, so the timber was created by God. Then, I'm going to tell you, saw me for my friend, if you saying, saw me men, chainsaw operators. They just form a wood out of it. Now when they form a wood out of it, they move it very straight to Temahabo. Now, when it gets to Temahabo, 
Some of them will go to China. Some of them will go to England. Some of them will go to America. And now that particular tree, that was a wood. They can change it. And now they will do a Land Cruiser. And they will do a Mercedes Benz. And on the door side, some wood is there. Wait, that wood by the Mercedes Benz. But the same sawmill man, when he made the wood over there, he used one of them for a children's bench at Batuna MA School. So they started from one village, Jesus. one forest. Yes, sir. But one of them is a, is a Mercedes Benz. Another one is at the MA School. Jesus. Now, the one at the MA School can be sold for 100 CDs. But the wood in the Mercedes Benz can be sold for ten thousand yes, dollars. We started from the same place, but our value is different. Yes, be careful how you charge me. Yes, we sir. came from the same family, yes, but I will end in the Mercedes Benz. I will end in the White House. I will end. Oh man! Yes, I'm, no. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I took you far. I took, I took you far. Don't let us go to Germany. Mercedes Benz, another wood. They can create it very well. And they will put it in the office of the president. When you go over there, it is at the office. It has a wood. But that table, it is not 100 CDs. Yes, sir. That table, you can buy it for 200,000. That's right. 300,000. If you go to Lifestyle Gallery, you can see some wood over there. I asked the guy, what wood is that? He said, it's from Vietnam. I said, well, we're going to hear <laughs> And it's true, it's from Vietnam. But the source might be from Ghana. That's right. The rose wood they take over there is from us. Yes, sir. But when it gets, oh, don't let you go far. The, the, the piano wood, the piano wood is highly expensive. But it comes from our villages. Child of God, hear me? Hear me? You are not normal. Yes, sir. I started from the forest reserve. But I don't have to end at the MA school. I will end as a piano wood. Jesus. I will end as a wood at the White House. Yes, Lord. I will end as a wood somewhere. Amen. Because he created me, he formed me, and he made me into something. Yes, Lord. Now, it would be very unfair for me to not to end it. Let me end it over here. Then we pray and take some testimonies. Let's go back to my scripture. Paul dragged. 19 and 20. Let's go there. I promise you I have one minute to go. Paul dragged 19 and 20. Thinking he was dead. Verse 20. And I'll end it there. But after people thought that he was dead, some disciples had gathered around him. Power of worship, lift up your right hand for me. Let me tell you something. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your hand. Put your hand down. Lift up your hand. Put your hand down. Lift up your hand. Put your hand down. Turn to the person in front uh, by you. Turn to the face of the person. Turn to the face of the person. And smile, 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 smile. Thank you. Now, now, now watch me. Watch me. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Shh. I told you to smile. Then you say laugh. Smile. When some people thought he was dead, other people gathered around him. Jesus. It means it's not everybody who hates you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. God will still give you some people that will stand by you. That's right. That will support you. Yes, Lord. That will help you. Yes, Lord. That will speak in your favor. Yes, Lord. And every day, Nipa Tame, Nipa Pema, who told you, God will still give you some people. Amen. And the problem is, the people around you is what will determine whether you can rise up again. That's right. That's right. He got up. It means the people who came, they were Paul's jump start. Mm. So some people will think that you are dead. But other people, when they hook to you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. When they hook to you, you can rise up yes, again. Yes, sir. 
Now anybody around you Jesus who is supposed to be hooked to you Jesus so that you can rise again Jesus wherever they are Yes Lord from the north south east and west Jesus let the altar bring them right now Amen Oh is that how we say amen in this house Amen Let the altar bring them right now amen. Let the altar bring them right now amen. Let the altar bring them right now Amen And those who thought you were dead Jesus let them rather die Amen. let them rather fall so glory glory I'm done be on your feet I'm done you are sitting O again lift up your right hand lift up your right hand somebody shout glory glory say I will manifest his glory I will manifest his glory listen he created you for his glory it's an error not to reveal his glory. It's an error not to reveal to his glory. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Say, oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. Say, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah. Say, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah. Now I know. Now I know. That I was created. That I was created. To reveal your glory. To, to reveal, reveal your, your glory. glory. Now listen to me. On Sunday, this is what we pray up. On, on, on Friday night, you have a prayer meeting here. Is that okay? Never forget. Now, protocol, come please and give me another protocol. And listen, the sacrifice of your age, if you're 100 years, 100 CD, if you're one year, one, one CD, of your age you pray about is very simple to God. From the time I was born to now, anything that stopped me from revealing your glory, by God. this seed, I have diverted everything. Amen. Now, stand your protocol. Yeah. No. Like what I've done. Yeah, perfect. Hold him like this. Hold him like this. Good. Now, this is the glory of God. But any time there is trouble, the devil brings a trouble to cover the glory. Jesus. So one day, a guy was born blind. They asked Jesus, who sent? Jesus said, no sin. But it is for the works and the glory of God to be revealed. Jesus. So the blindness covered the glory. But after Jesus prayed. Jesus. And the blindness left. Yes, sir. The glory was revealed. Yes, Lord. So any trouble you go through is designed to cover his glory. But if you can pray. And break the disaster. Jesus, when Jesus. you break the sickness. Yes, Lord. When the sickness go. Yes, Lord. Then the glory of the Lord on you will be revealed. Amen. So anything stopping you from revealing the glory of Jesus. God. Let it get out from your life. Amen. And give you a year a Yes, Lord. A year trouble. Yes, Jesus. Lord. So let me, let me, so, so, so. Why does Satan bring trouble to people? The answer is one. Is to cover and stop me from revealing his glory. Yes, but after God takes away the, the, the trouble, I reveal his glory. glory. Give it to me. 5 verse 10, Peter. Is it first or second? 5 verse 10. I know it's in Peter. 5 verse 10. I, I know. So check for me. After you have suffered a little while, look at it right now. 5 verse 10. It's Peter. First or second Peter. Check for me. I want to show you something. Perfect. Let's all read together, please. Let's go. And the God of all grace. One, two, three, let's go. And the God of all grace. God of all grace. Let's continue. Who called you to his eternal glory? He called Christ. you to what? His eternal glory. In so he called, he called you to reveal his glory. Now let's see the issues. Let's go. After you have suffered a little while. Uh huh. Will himself restore you. Yes. And make you strong. Yes. Firm. Yes. And steadfast. No, 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 wait, wait, before you shout, there's a problem here. He says, after you have suffered a little while, but unfortunately, the power of worship, there's an issue. Some of you here, you've not suffered a little while. You suffered for a long time. That's right. But today, those who are overdue, yes, Lord. those who are overdue, yes, Lord. I came to declare time up. Amen. I came to declare time up. Amen. I came to declare change lessons. Amen. So if I carry glory, my troubles should not be permanent. That's right. But from my infancy, the same issue. 
It fought my mother, fought my father, fought everyone. Me too, I'm going through. But when the glory comes, Jesus. it's only for a little while. Yes, sir. And it's in the half of our state, it will come. Jesus. Yes, sir. I can't feel these people. Jesus. I said, I can't feel this side of the people Jesus. here. I can't feel this particular people. Jesus. I said, anything in your life Jesus. that has overstayed its welcome Jesus. by the altar, I reject it now. Amen. He called me to his eternal glory. And after I've suffered, how long? A little while. A little while. But it's become like a long. And if it's a long while, something is behind it. Jesus. And I came to ask you one question. Who is behind it? On Friday night, the prayer meeting is an emergency prayer meeting. You don't have service here on the Friday night. But we have a service, 6.30 to 8.30. Anything stopping the glory. Jesus. Anything stopping the glory. That's right. Let it be removed. Slow. Yes. No. And let the glory fall. Jesus. Amen. Say, God of the testimony city. God, God of the, the testimony, testimony city. Let me reveal your glory. Let, let me reveal, reveal your glory. glory. I walk in the supernatural. I, I walk, walk in the supernatural. supernatural. Let everything around me. Let everything around me. Reveal your glory. Reveal, reveal your, your glory. glory. Listen to me. There's a sister, sister Hassan over there, sister Joanna. We have been praying for her, praying with her for marriage. Every direction that we know how to do, we have done it before. Every direction we have done. And I said to her, God will remember you. Tobo I said, Tobo One day I was just there. She brought me wedding invitation. I said, Joanna, wait, 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 the husband. Mumra, 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 mumra. That's right. Oh, I, I also say how I can't drama my own. I also say you cuckoo bad ya. Joanna, bra. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. Jesus. The way the thing happened. My God. When she came to give testimony, her testimony was at the test service. Now, um, um, some of you were not here. Oh, oh, when she was now testifying, and then John, I know no preacher I'm for. So, oh, see, if you are here, wait for your time. That's what. Jesus. Mr. And John, I know a, a preacher. That's what. When God does it for you, my God, you become a preacher. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. And I went there and I blessed their wedding, and That's it was what. so amazing. Congratulations. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you, my brother. Listen. Listen, few months old. Few months. Lift up your hands. The guy says, somebody like you is what I was looking for. And she also says, somebody like you By is God. what I was looking for. Jesus. You too. Somebody who is looking for somebody like Jesus. you. Jesus. Let the glory bring them now. Jesus. Somebody wants a contract to give to you. Jesus. Let that person give it to you right now. Jesus. So glory. Glory. Say so God of the testimony city. God of the testimony city. The hour has come. The hour has come. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. I walk in the supernatural. I walk in the supernatural. I walk in your glory. I walk in your glory. I walk in miracles. I walk in miracles. Whatever I do, whatever I do, surprise me. Surprise me. Let your glory, let your glory fall in my life. Fall in my life. Now. By fire. By fire. Now. As I clap. As I clap. As I pray. As I pray. Somebody clap your hands, pray right now by fire. Everybody, 